Elise, do you know what today is? I do. It's a very special day. A very important day. It is Chris's birthday. birthday. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, Dad. And Chris, we love you. <laughs> we love you so very much. We do, and that's why every single year, we try to make each year, each celebration more memorable than the year before. Like the year that... We made a song for you. That's right, and a music video to go <laughs> along with the song. Um, and the year that we went on the Disney cruise for your birthday. We try to make each year more memorable than the last. Um, you may recall a couple years ago, I tried to hold an old fashioned 1980s arcade birthday party for you up at Fun Spot because everybody knows there's nothing you love more than the 1980s. The 1980s. Um, and part of that, as you will recall, I did my best to get Billy Mitchell to come to your birthday party. Um, Billy Mitchell who at the time was the reigning world champion of Donkey Kong, a record he set at Fun Spot <laughs> in the 1980s, and there was even a plaque acknowledging his accomplishments there. Until he got kicked out of his place because they found out he cheated. He cheated. And the cheating scandal broke right when I was trying to convince him to come up and be the special guest for your birthday. So, as you know, that birthday party never happened. Um, and it's always been sort of the big birthday present that got away. Yeah. Um, so I thought, now a couple years have passed since that scandal. And what's Billy Mitchell doing anyway? So I thought, well, what if we tried to get him for your birthday again? But of course, in the age of COVID... It's hard to get people to come in person. Yep. So I thought, what's the next best thing is a video message from Billy, Billy Mitchell. Mitchell. And did he do it? No. I still haven't heard from the guy. Oh. So that leads me to where we are now. What are we going to do for Dad's birthday? I have got a good idea. What's that? Nobody really knows who Billy Mitchell is. Even though he's got that sweet, sweet mullet, sweet, nobody sweet really mullet. knows who he is. I think we should shoot higher. Higher? Higher. Like, what do you mean? You know how he loves the 1980s? Yes. What if we bring back one of his childhood heroes? Oh. But if we couldn't get Billy Mitchell to do it, do you really think we could get someone with more recognition than one of Dad's childhood heroes to, 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 to wish him happy birthday? Let's make a bet. I bet that I can get a video message from one of his favorite stars and he'll be bigger than the one that you can get. Well, considering I couldn't even get Billy Mitchell, that's, that's not going to be hard, but you're on. Okay. So, how'd you do? I did very well. Really? I have to say, I probably got in the top five. Top five of your father's favorite people from the 80s. Mm -hmm. I can give you some clues. Okay. Bicycles, bow ties, and big butts. Well, Chris, hello. That's right, it's I, Paul Rubens, Pee Wee Her Chris, come on, it's you. I don't really think I have to tell you who I am. I understand that you're a big fan, which tells me quite a bit about you, Chris. It tells me that you're remarkably smart and have amazing taste. Chris, may I call you Chris? Well, I just did. Chris. Hello, Chris, Chris. I'm here on behalf of the beautiful Elise, who I understand you turned on to me. Well, thank you very much. And Elise, you're welcome to your dad. I also understand that you are about to turn 48 48? Wow. Chris, come on. Wow, man. You don't look a moment over 47 and three quarters. <laughs> Chris, I'm kidding. Or am I? Chris, Chris, Chris. Happy birthday to you. Chris. Happy birthday to you. Chris. Happy birthday. 
Dear. Go ahead. Put your name right here. You remember it. Chris. Chris. Happy birthday to you. Chris. Chris. This is from me. And let's not forget Elise. And also a little tiny bit from Jeanette. <laughs> hey. Chris. In all seriousness, I hope today is fantastic. I hope it's the first day of a wonderful new year for you. A year that brings you joy, love, happiness, especially at this time, good health, wealth, laughter, and above all, a whole lot of fun. Um, before I go, Chris, Let's take a moment and talk about your big butt. No, I'm just joking. That's a line from Pee Wee's Big Event. Come on, it's you, Chris. You you recognize that line. Why don't you take a picture? It'll last longer, Chris. I'll be right there, everyone. I'm trying to use the phone to talk to Chris on his birthday. <laughs> Chris, Chris, Chris. Seriously, I hope you have a fantastic 48th year. I hope you get everything you want and so richly deserved. I hope you, Jeanette and Elise, have a fantastic celebration of your birthday and that this is the year of Chris. I'll tell you what, Chris. Let's go out with a little tiny bit of a musical interlude. I'm looking down because I'm going to cue up a piece of music now for us to go out with. Here we are. Recognize it? I think you do, Chris. Chris turning 48. Wow, he doesn't look that old. I'm not a poet, and I know it. So I'm not going to try to rhyme. But listen, Jeanette, Elise, Chris, sing along with me, won't you? You remember the lyric. It's just one word. Everybody... Happy birthday, Chris. For me, Jeanette, and Elise. Happy birthday. Bye. <laughs> um, okay, yeah. I gotta admit, I am impressed. I was not expecting you to get Pee Wee Herman. As you did see in the video, I did um, give you some credit um, because I knew you would be able to get anyone better than Pee Wee Herman. <sighs> um, thank you. No problem. <laughs> well, I will say I was a little intimidated by your challenge. But I have to say, I think I also got one of Dad's top favorite people from the 80s. Really? Mm-hmm. If you think you would get something as good as mine, it'd either have to be Harrison Ford, um, Luke Skywalker, or Don Johnson. Hey, Johnny. I hear it's your birthday. Well, um, I'm on a mission. Castillo's got me looking for uh, Gina and Trudy. Are they at your place? Don't lie to me, man. I don't want to have to come over there and kick your ass. <laughs> Johnny? Johnny, Johnny! <laughs> uh, it was supposed to be for Chris. Uh, I don't think so. I don't think you got my deal. My The bet was not to take something off the internet, but to actually get someone to say something. I didn't get, I, he was supposed to say happy birthday, Chris. I don't know who Johnny, I don't even know what that was. It's Johnny. Johnny, Johnny. All right, well, I guess you got the better message. Mm hmm Sorry, Chris. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Jenna! <laughs> Hi there, Chris. I understand you're having a birthday. Um, yeah, I vaguely remember that birthday. <laughs> I blew by that one a long time ago. You're going to have a lot of fun, I'm pretty sure of it. Because your wife, Jeanette, happens to be a very special person. And... Um, she got me to do this, and uh, I messed it up the first time, but uh, I'm back. 
<laughs> Listen, I want to wish you the greatest time and the best birthday ever. I know it's going to be because Jeanette's going to make sure of it. God bless y'all. Happy birthday.